Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to create this low poly house using Blender. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. Before we dive in, I noticed that 95% of you watching aren't subscribed yet. Your subscription really motivates me to keep creating more content for you. So, if you enjoy what you see, please hit that subscribe button and enable the bell icon so you never miss out on future videos. Before starting, enable the Snap to option for Vertex, Edge and Face, so that you can easily snap shapes while modeling. Press Shift and Select so that you can select all three at once. Let's start by creating a cube. Set the dimensions to X 7.5, Y 5, and Z 3.5. Now change the Z axis location value to 1.75, half of the size so that the bottom face lies exactly on the Y axis. Now extrude the top face by pressing E and extrude along the Z axis. In vertex mode, select the front two vertices and press M and merge at the center. Repeat the same on the back side so that you will get the top shape of the house. Adjust the height of the top if you want to. Now select the roof face, press P and select selection to separate the two selected faces. Now select the separated shape and scale along the X axis. Press Alt plus E, select Extrude along normals, press S to offset even. And repeat the same for the side roof too. And now our house roof is ready. Now let's create some loop cut for our house details. Select the edges and press Ctrl plus B to bevel. Let us create windows for our home. Let's add two loop cuts for our window boundaries and adjust the positions of the loop cuts. Now select the two faces where you want to place your window. Press I to inset. If your inset is not working properly, make sure boundaries and individuals are turned of. You can press B to on or off boundaries. And while in the inset, you can press I once more to turn on or off individual. Now extrude the face inwards by pressing E. I like to separate the window plane further, so press P and select selection to separate the face. Create loop cuts by pressing Ctrl plus R for both the planes as shown. Now select all the faces and press I to inset. Press I again to activate individuals and now inset according to your need. Now select the base of the house and extrude as shown. Select the top side and extrude again. You can press S while extruding to activate Offset Even. Now let's create a door for our house. Select the faces, press I to inset. Delete the bottom two faces, select the edges, and level it with other edges. Now select the face and extrude. Adjust the edge. Select the top face, inset, and extrude. 
Create a handle for our door. Create a cube, scale it, and place it where you want the handle to be. In edit mode, select the face, press E to extrude, scale, extrude, extrude, scale, and make the shape of a handle. Steps for our home, select the faces extrude outwards. Place a loop cut vertically and another one horizontally. Extrude as shown to get a step-like shape. We do not need the bottom faces, so select all and delete them. Now let's create window for other sides of our house. Create a loop cut on all sides. Select the edges and press Ctrl plus B to bevel. Increase the loop cuts by scrolling your mouse wheel. Now select the faces. Press Alt plus E and select Extrude along Normals and Extrude. Now press P and separate by selection. Select the separated planes. Create loop cuts for your windows. Now select all the faces and inset. If the inset are not even, exit the edit mode. Press Ctrl plus A and apply scale. Now switch back to edit mode. Press I to inset and E to extrude along normals. Create a cube and place it where you want your house chimney to be. Scale according to. Now in edit mode, select top face, extrude, scale, extrude, inset, Extrude inwards, your house chimney is ready. Let's create a lawn, create a cube and scale as shown. Select the top face and inset and extrude. Now let's create a grass plant. Create a plane. Scale in X axis. Create three loop cuts. Select the edges and scale in Y axis to get this shape. Now create a loop cut through middle, select the top vertices and merge at center. Scale in Y axis so that you will get a grass leaf like shape. Now let's shift its origin point to the bottom side. Select the bottom vertex, press shift plus S and select cursor to selected. Exit edit mode, right click, set origin, set origin to 3D cursor. Now let's rotate 90 degrees in the Y axis. Let's bend the shape to look like a grass shape. Enable proportional editing and select smooth. Now repeat after me until you get this shape. Be
duplicate the shapes and rotate so that it looked like grass. Now let's create a flower, create a plane, create loop cut. Separate the vertices by selecting connected vertices and press V and right click. Now select all the edges and bevel, press Ctrl plus B. If it's not beveling the edges, press Ctrl plus V. Now select the middle vertex and move it down while proportional editing is still on. Rescale and place as shown. Now let's place our grass flower in its spot, duplicate as many as you want and place it. Let's create a round window for our house. Create a circle with 10 vertices and fill type Ngon, inset as shown. Now place the window where you want it to be. Select and extrude. Inset and extrude to get this look. And that is how you model a low poly house in Blender. Now let's add texture to our house. Here most of the material I used is Simple Principle B, SDF with max roughness, so you can simply follow along. For the roof, I used a checker texture. But while applying the texture, it will not be perfect. So for that, let's go to UV editing and unwrap the face. And now, in shading. Select the checker texture and press Ctrl plus T. If it's no working, make sure you enabled Nod Wrangler add-in in preference settings and let's change generated to UV. It will fix the problem.
After some final adjustment and texturing, our house is finally ready. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.